Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about Minecraft and mods. Now, I am going to walk through the installation of Forge, which is a installer or a loader that will basically get these mods on your version of Minecraft. There's different ones out there. The one that I'll walk through today is Forge. There's also, I believe it's called Technic. That's another loader. And there's a couple of other loaders out there as well, I believe. Today, I'm only going to talk about Forge. And then I'm going to show you how to download what's called the Ore Spawn mod, because this is a pretty popular one. It's very large. And as you see the web page here kind of cycling through, it adds a lot of different elements of uh, gameplay to Minecraft with a lot of new creatures and things like that. My kids are absolutely loving this mod. So a couple of disclaimers here. First off, definitely do it at your own risk. I mean, the worst damage that you can probably do here is to uh, mess up your installation of Minecraft so you'd have to install it again. But honestly, if you follow these instructions to a T, that really shouldn't be much of an issue at all. And then the second thing is, in my understanding and, and my experience, I should say, the Orspawn mod doesn't play real nice with other mods. So if you try to install other mods in addition to Orspawn, your game will crash when you try to load it. Now, that doesn't do damage to Minecraft. And all you're going to have to do at that point is remove either your other mods from your mod folder or to remove the or spawn mod from your mod folder. And you can do that each and every time to play your different mods if you wanted to keep all of these. So if you guys know a way around that, please let me know. I'm still struggling with that one. So here we go. I am on a Mac. Your instructions may vary a little bit on the PC. If you guys need any assistance on this, I'll do my best to answer questions because I've done it on both now, Mac and PC. Best way is hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers. You can certainly leave a comment on the video as well. For the Orspawn mod, you're going to come first to the webpage orspawn.com, O-R-E-S-P-A-W-N.com. We're going to come up here to where it says Downloads and click on Orspawn Download. Now, the Orspawn mod does require Minecraft version 1.6.4. Don't worry if you've got a 1.7 version. I will show you how to remedy that in a minute. And then it requires the loader Forge 9.11.1.965. So from this download page, scroll to the very bottom. You're going to see under technical information, there is a link to download Forge. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to take just a minute here. It'll bring you to minecraftforge.net, their forums, where you're going to find all different versions of this. Look under 1.6.4-latest. That's under promotion right here. Click on Installer, and you're probably going to get something similar to what we're seeing here, and that's an ad page. This is how these guys are able to keep these files hosted. They make a little bit of money through the ads. Click on Continue. Make sure you click on the right links, like this thing that you see right here. Just cancel out because these are misleading. That's not actually for the file, and that'll actually download some other stuff on your machine. So close those out. Go up to Skip Ad. Click on that. And now there's the file. So you see the file name here. I'm going to save it. Again, it might vary a little bit based upon your platform and whatnot. You see a couple of instances here because I've downloaded it before, uh, but you'll probably see in your instance if this is your first time downloading it, this exact file name minus that one there. Double click on it. You're going to get some warnings about, hey, do you want to open this file up? Are you sure it's from the internet? So forth and so on. And you'll say yes to that. And then you're going to see this page or this uh, pop-up, and it's the Mod System Installer screen. You can leave it all as is. So leave it as an install client. You'll see your directory on your machine of where Minecraft is placed, and then click OK. Now, I'm not going to click OK because I've already installed this, but you'll want to click OK. It'll take a few moments, and it will install it on your machine. Now, after you've done that, let's go ahead and close out this tab. We're going to come back to the Orspawn page, and remember, we are here under Downloads, Orspawn Download. This big green button, click on it for Download Orspawn Mod. Again, we get these pop-ups that uh, can be misleading. Close these guys out because you don't want to install things that don't belong on your machine. Come back up to Skip Add, and again, we're going to go to Save File. You can see it as a zip file here. It's Orspawn. Uh, 164v19.zip. I'm going to say OK to that. 
And there it is right there. It's under my downloads. Let's close that out. Let's close this out. And we can even close, in my instance, Firefox out. I've already got Minecraft launched, but the first thing that we need to do is we need to basically go to our Finder on the Mac. So I've already got the Finder open. You can see Finder right here. You're going to want to go to Go and then say Go to Folder. This is the directory you want to go to. It's a tilde sign, that little squiggly line, slash library, slash application support. Click on Go. In this folder, you're going to find a folder called Minecraft. Open that folder up. Now, you may or may not have a folder called Mods. If you don't, simply create one. You can right-click, you can go to New Folder, and create it, and call it Mods, M-O-D-S. Open up that folder. Remember that file we downloaded just a few moments ago, the Orspawn 164v19? You don't need to unzip it or anything. You're just going to move it into this folder, and you can see I've already done that. It is in the mods folder. Now, at the top of the video, I talked about how this doesn't play nice with other mods. So if for some reason you have other mods that you want to play, at least at the time of this video, the only way I know to get those other ones to work is temporarily take this file, drag it onto your desktop or another location, and then that allows you to play the other mods. And then when you want to go back to Orspawn, just take it again and pop it back in your mods folder. So let's close this window down. You will launch your version of Minecraft, and once you do that, the first thing you're going to notice is, remember we installed Forge. So right here where it says Profile, this is going to have your normal profile. Select it, and you should see a profile called Forge. This is important. Take a look to the right-hand side. After you select Forge, it, it should say Ready to Play Minecraft 1.6.4-Forge 9.11.1.965. If those versions do not match up, it's going to crash on you more than likely. Now, if you don't see that here, what you need to do is with the profile Forge selected, click on Edit Profile. You'll get all the details about the Forge profile. And right here where it says Use Version, you're going to select the current or the recommended version, which is release 1.6.4-Forge 9.11.1.965. And then Save Profile. Now remember, if you ever want to go back and play regular Minecraft, you're just going to go to your normal profile and see how that changes it back to Ready to Play Minecraft 1.7.10. So that's not going anywhere, and that's your unmodded version. With Forge selected, however, anytime you want to play the mod, you're going to switch your profile here to Forge. Simply hit play, and you're going to see in just a moment here that it will launch up, and you'll see that you've got your mods installed. So we'll give it just a second here. You can see mods right here, and there they are. You've got Orspawn and a few others, and if I hit single player, I've got an Orspawn test here. I'm going to say play selected world. And your first time is going to take a little bit of time to actually load up the world. Uh, your skins, if you've got any for your player, will definitely be there. So you'll be able to see those skins. And that'll work just fine. And there's mine, Jack Skellington, at least for now. And just enjoy. I mean, it is a great mod. It's a lot of fun. And uh, you'll be able to kind of see all of the things that it adds. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, you get stuck, definitely feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers. You can also hit me up. Uh, over on metagamers.com, my Facebook page, of course, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have and enjoy this mod. So I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody, and have fun.